Hello and welcome to Do You Can Cook Bro? And today I'll be showing you how to make Colorado green chili in honor of the Broncos Super Bowl appearance this week. To get started, I'm going to throw a bunch of different peppers and some tomatillos into a bowl. I'm going to coat those with oil and salt and I'm going to roast them. To find out more about the peppers I'm using, go ahead and check out the blog post. As a hot pepper enthusiast, I'm sure it'll have a lot more information than you really ever desired. Once the tomatillos and peppers are thoroughly coated, throw them in a roasting pan and try to make one even level and then you're going to stick them in a hot oven. While those roast, we're going to prep the rest of our ingredients. Dice one large onion, as well as three jalapenos. You can leave the seeds in or you can take them out, it's up to you. Next, grab some chorizo and cut them into pretty little wedges. For the penultimate pork product here, we're going to slice bacon into matchstick sized pieces. Once you're done doing that, throw your bacon into a pan over medium heat and crisp it up. Now for the pork shoulder, we're going to take the layer of fat off of the top and then cut it into half inch by half inch by half inch cubes. By the time you're finishing up with cutting the pork shoulder, your peppers should be ready to come out of the oven. Cut the tops off the peppers and you can once again remove the seeds or keep the seeds. But that's really something that's up to you. Once you've made that executive decision, puree your peppers and tomatillos with a little bit of lime juice and a food processor or a blender or you can use a stick blender like I have here until smooth. Then season with some salt and black pepper. At this point your bacon should be crispy and then we're going to reserve that for later keeping the fat in the pan going to turn the heat up to medium high and then we're going to brown the pork shoulder. Spread all the cubes out into an even layer so that every piece has a part touching the pan and it can get seared. Then we're going to put some coriander on top, decent amount because pork and coriander are matched in heaven. Season with some salt and since it's been about a minute we're going to stir to coat. Once the pork cubes are covered with the coriander and salt, then just once again let them sit there and sear a little bit and then give it a stir and rearrange them in a layer and let them sear a little bit. And after they're mostly browned all over, we're going to add in the onion and jalapeno that you diced earlier. Once you've given those a good stir, throw in your chorizo. And maybe you guessed this, but stir. Crank up the heat to high and add cumin, oregano, and green chili powder if you have it. Add in your chicken stock as well as your green chili puree. Make sure you scrape the bottom of the pot while you glaze. This not only makes the pot easier to clean eventually, but it also imparts a lot more flavor into your dish. Go ahead and throw in some bay leaves and seven cloves of garlic. And maybe you know the drill by now, but we brought the liquid to a boil, then we're going to reduce the heat to a simmer and are going to cook until the meat is tender. I knew my meat was tender and therefore done because I poked it with a fork and the fork went in easily as well as I also tried it, which is a really good idea. To put the finishing touches on the meal, roughly chop some cilantro and remove the bay leaves and garlic before performing your final taste test. Does it need salt? Does it need acid? Once you're happy with that, you can turn off the heat and throw in your cilantro. Stir in your pieces and then cover the pot and just let that sit there and the cilantro flavor to soak in a little bit while you grab the rest of the fixing, the sour cream, salsa, that kind of stuff. One of the best things about green chili is all the different ways you can eat it on a bed of rice. You can Put it in an empanada like I'm going to show later for a Super Bowl appetizer idea, or you can do my favorite application, which is a big fat burrito. Anyway, give this recipe a try. Enjoy!